Hi again. I I do apologize. My my battery died. So I wasn't even aware that my uh, battery was about to die. Anyway, so this is the bird stamp uh, using the archival ink. And um, then I'm just going to do a quick water coloring. Water coloring is one of my favorite techniques. I do really enjoy using acrylic, but water coloring is one of my favorite as well and this is a watercolor set which is called the artist loft but i got it from michael's um, in canada what i like with it it has like a chalky finish to it um so i'm just gonna use this one so i am debating now whether to use um which color to use so which color combination would you like to see me use would you like uh the blue and the green brown and the black a pink and the red the orange and the yellow what do you think which combination would you like to see me use on the bird neutrals as in black and white orange and yellow okay um machiavelli one s so what do you do in life orange and the yellow okay that's what we're going to do orange for the dark shadow i'm using the darker tone for the shadow yeah so what do you do in life machiavelli one work okay are you into art stuff oh okay um how did you know that orange and yellow would be would complement each other then because they actually do they are family colors oh okay i said it all right um, yeah, they're all family colors. So, okay, is that... I don't know how to zoom in, so hopefully you can still see the colors. And then I'm using yellow as the lightest tone. So, according to the bird here, uh, the light source is coming from here. So, yellow will be on top. You're a complete nobody in nobody in art. Um, I personally think, uh, well, that's what I think personally anyway, that every person they do have some sort of artistic skills, because if you think about it, um, choosing even clothes, color color combination of your clothing or maybe even uh the color combination of your living room of your house of your bedroom i mean you know you must have have some sort of um uh artistic skills to be able to do that if you know what i mean unless you don't you, you just don't think about it and just you just throw everything together uh hi flip bean hello everybody joining that's the most you could do, okay. Uh, or maybe you haven't really thought about it. So that could be another thing as well. Thank you. Um, so what I'm going to do now, this is, uh, I did not draw this in case you just joined now. This is a set, a bird, it's called Bird Crazy and it's by Tim Holtz. So, um, no, I'm an artist. I draw and paint. No, no, I did not draw it. <laughs> Sorry, I did not draw this. Uh, this is a stamp. Okay, this is what it looks like. Look, you get the stamp. You stick it to this uh, acrylic, 
acrylic here and then you use ink to stamp to add the ink on it and then stamp it on paper I cannot take credit for this myself um, well I'm an art teacher myself I draw a range of things I'm just looking okay I've got something here that I can show you wait I draw a range of things but this is a mixed media mixed media kind of uh, acrylic artwork I did um, the title is uh, the um, what was the title of this sorry I, I can't because it's the, I'm trying to read and think at the same time. Sorry, clearly I cannot multitask that well. But uh, the secret door. Sorry, yeah, it's a Sunday as well. That's the secret door. And uh, then this one. Let me try to move this so you can see is a still life and the focus was reflective surfaces and glass so that's kind of like thank you i think i did that like two years ago and it's always challenging to paint uh, white so i did that to also demonstrate to my students at school yeah so i i call myself an artist because i draw and paint but most importantly, I I teach. So, but I also craft. Crafting is one of my uh, favorite way to unwind. Whenever I have the time, because you know, with teaching, a faz, no, I do not know. Is that an artist? Russian painter. Okay, can you say that again? I'm going to write it down because I like to research about new uh, about any about artists. So Russian painter. Can you write his name again, please? Yep, no problem. This little birdie, um, it doesn't have a, have a name specifically, but it's from the Bird Crazy collection. Okay, hang on. Let me just write this. Ivan Evazovsky. Thank you for telling me that. Then uh, I definitely will, will research. Evazovsky. Okay. Um, what made you mention this artist is, is anything similar to that secret door I showed you the bird uh, the bird I'm gonna leave that to you to decide whether it flies or not um, it's from this set here it's called the bird crazy it's a stamp set oh he paints ships okay I definitely will check him out and this is Tim Holtz collection. Bird crazy. They do remind me of Angry Bird, to be honest. And then you just stick it onto the block, onto this acrylic block here. <laughs> and then you just stamp it down and then you can color it. But um, like I mentioned at the beginning that some of the birds actually creep me out. So I don't know whether I I do really like them or not. 
I mean, they're fun to stamp and paint. So I'm still debating whether I really like them or not. So this is a quick demo because um, in the art and in the crafting world at the moment, this bird is very popular. So obviously I had to get to get the stamp set and to try it out. Adding a bit of grey there to get some 2, 3D effect. Okay, so um, this is my first time doing a live Periscope today. I would like to thank everybody who tuned in. If you uh, would like to follow me, for a quick demo like this or maybe featuring some um, crafting stuff please do follow me so that you can be the first to know uh, if you know any crafty friends share it out um, share the periscope please and this is my youtube channel this one it's tassie crafty right i'm not doing a face-to-face a periscope today but right in front of me this is my crafting desk messy well I call it a creative mess I don't know what you would call that but on my right here I have this light it's called daylight lamp I've got all my um, spectrum noir collection over there oh on the wall I have this picture from the magazine uh, and then I drew and painted the foot and the shoes and it's at work so I can't show you that right now and then all my stamping up inks oh can you see that lazy arm on top there I just got that yesterday and I'm actually using this to do this periscope today I will be putting up a YouTube video on my uh, I'm an art teacher and yes, I do paint as well. I just showed my uh, two paintings a while ago. Okay, I'm just going to show you very quickly once again. That is a mixed media acrylic, the secret door painting. I did it a few years, I don't know, four or five years ago. And it's on YouTube, actually, if you want to much watch me make this tutorial. And this is another one. The focus was reflective surfaces and uh, the background. So, oh, if I can teach you how to draw a squirrel, uh, hopefully I can, not today. I can possibly, as well, if you want, I can do a tutorial on YouTube then, you know, uh, I can just make a video and then, so if you follow me on YouTube, that's my name, then uh, I'll do it for you. By when do you need this tutorial done? Do you know? By when do you want the um, tutorial for the squirrel done? Let me know. And then a quick over there by this Friday. I'll try my best to have it done on YouTube for you. Just make sure you subscribe um, my channel, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, hopefully I will catch you again sometimes. Uh, bye for now. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye. Okay, how do we stop? the swipe down to stop bye stop broadcast